Hey everyone, today we're going to give you a quick run through of the Astro C40TR configuration software. First, make sure that your controller is connected to a PC or Mac and ensure that the firmware is fully updated. Make sure your profile switch is set to the intended profile. We'll be starting in profile 1. Select View Profile. To change your button mapping, ensure that mapping is selected on the left, then click the icons beneath the command line. To change your stick input sensitivity, click the Sticks tab on the left. From here, you're able to drag your sensitivity up or down at multiple tilt input percentages. These sensitivity changes are represented by the graphic on the right-hand side. To change your trigger sensitivity, select the Triggers tab on the left. Just like the sticks, you can change your sensitivity at different input percentages by dragging up or down. These changes are also represented by the graphic on the right. Select the Audio tab on the left. From here, you can customize your preferred audio output settings from your C40 controller, as well as the speaker volume. You can adjust additional settings on your C40 controller such as rumbles and LED brightness in the Effects tab on the left. Please keep in mind that none of these changes will take effect on your C40 controller until you hit the Sync Controller button in the upper right, or when prompted when exiting back to the main screen. To save your custom profile, click the drop-down profile menu at the top and select Create New. Rename your custom profile and select Create. You're also able to duplicate and delete profiles by hovering over them in the profile menu. To customize your second profile, change the profile switch on the controller to Profile 2 and follow the same steps as before. Don't forget to sync the controller when you're finished. And that's it! For any additional questions, please reach out to astrogaming.com contact. Thanks for watching!